Have you ever wondered why stopping sugar feels harder than breaking some bad habits? You tell yourself, just one piece. But that one piece becomes another, and another. It's not a lack of willpower. It's something deeper, something happening inside your brain, quietly shaping your choices. Today, we're going to explore what sugar really does inside your mind, and why understanding this simple truth might help you take back control of your life. Inside your brain, there's a small cluster of cells responsible for motivation, pleasure, and desire. It's called the reward system, a mechanism designed to help humans survive, find food, seek connection, pursue goals, repeat what keeps us alive. But when sugar enters your bloodstream, it activates this system with an intensity your ancestors never experienced. A quick spike, a rush of dopamine, a feeling of reward, without effort, without growth. In nature, rewards were slow. Today, sugar gives you one instantly. Your brain learns fast. Eat this, feel good. And so the cycle begin. Here's the tricky part. Each time sugar triggers a dopamine release, your brain slightly reduces its sensitivity to it. Meaning, the next time you need more sugar to feel the same reward, then more and more. This isn't addiction in the dramatic Hollywood sense. It's repetition, adaptation, a loop. Your brain isn't working against you. It's adapting to the world you gave it. But adaptation has a price. Cravings grow stronger. Focus weakens. Self-control feels heavier, not because you are weak, but because your brain is trying to balance itself. Sugar doesn't just affect your body, it affects your mind, lowered ability to delay gratification, heightened stress response, trouble focusing, difficulty resisting impulsive choices, lack of energy for deeper work. Bit by bit, sugar rewires your motivational pathways. It teaches your brain to chase quick comfort instead of meaningful progress. And this spills into everything, your discipline, your habits, your daily decisions. This is why small choices matter. They shape your brain as much as they shape your life. If so, what can you do? Not a dramatic detox, not guilt, not perfection, just awareness. Here's where real self-improvement begins. Lower the spikes. Reduce the extreme highs so your brain can rebalance. Replace the reward. Introduce habits that give dopamine slowly, not instantly. Create friction. Make sugar harder to reach and healthier options easier. Give your brain time. Pathways don't reset overnight. Self-control isn't about punishing yourself. It's about understanding yourself and giving your mind the chance to rebuild. Sugar teaches us something important. The smallest repeated behaviors, good or bad, reshape the architecture of your mind. And if something as tiny as a few teaspoons can rewire the brain, imagine what your daily discipline can do. Stay aware. Stay grounded. Stay becoming real.